Hi guys, John with you again. Uh, this is just going to be a very, very quick video. Uh, basically, this is um, what I'm doing for my uh, Operation Torch group build. It's the British 25 pounder field gun, quad gun tractor, Canadian Ford FGT. It's a Tamiya kit. It's kit number uh, 35044. It's, uh, it's not a new kit from Tamiya. Uh, this is not going to be a full unboxing. This is just uh, to show the kit and what I'm entering for the uh, group build. We'll just have a quick look at the plastic without taking anything out of the plastic. Let me say I won't do that until the day and then I'll do a proper inbox review. But we've got some storage, some wheels, some Pioneer tools. And so far they look, you know, they look quite nice actually. Uh, we get a seated figure driver there. Um, by the looks of that, we get an engine. Get some engine detail and stuff. Um, seats, wheels, bits of plastic. Uh, in here, we've got a clear screw with our windows. And uh, are basically our, our, our undercarriage and suspension. Uh, another two screws here. It's some more wheels. And uh, I think it's I, this is this is the twenty five pounder gun itself. It's the uh, face plate for the gun. There's that big base circle plate thingy. Don't know what it's called. I wasn't in the artillery. I was an infantryman. Uh, but my uncle was, and unfortunately, he never got to meet him. He got killed in North Africa in 19... Uh, what? He got killed in Africa in 1943. He was part of the Operation Torch. He came on ashore with them, so this is why I'm doing this. And we've got... Uh, it appears to be just one piece. No, 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 it's two pieces that stuff into that. I see it fit. Uh, sick. I was all these angles. I was terrified about them, but they don't have to be anymore because they're already pre-done for me. So that just has to be kind of detailed up and painted and things like that. So so far, it's not actually a hard kit. I'm getting stuck from the foot. Uh, it is in booklet form, which is quite nice. Um, quite. Quite good uh, instructions, I must I must say. Um, some colour and decal options for Canadian First Infantry. Uh, where else have we got? Do we have any other uh, commander's vehicle used by British Eighth Army? No. <clears throat> I might have to get uh, some aftermarket decals for this because um, I it is the one thing that I will do properly. Don't make a stupid. Yep. Because uh, I want to get them for a specific unit, if you know what I mean. So I will try and get the decals for that. And uh, we've got the same again in Japanese, and we've got our little decal sheet. Which uh, just appears to be Canadian. Oh, it's stapled. But um, 74G for I gotta find out what my what the markings for my uncle's unit were. Uh, see can I get them? And um, carry on from there. You never know. They might be uh, quite easily easily got. Uh, I'll check out Hannon's in a few more places. So Without any more ado, that's the uh, that's my entry for the group build. And uh, if you have anything like that yourself, stick it on the website. And uh, it's the Operation uh, Torch group build on Facebook. Thank you.